It's been an exciting two days here at the Liberty kickoff at the Liberty Indoor Track Complex. Several flames have had great individual results. Marcus Ballinger set a meet and track record in the heptathlon, putting up a score of 5,523, which is the eighth best score in the NCAA this season. I came into it, you know, hoping I had a, a set uh, score in my head that I that I wanted to do, and I knew that. Um, my PRs that I've set like through practice and stuff that uh, I had a possibility of scoring that and um, so eight, eighth in the country uh, hopefully that's only half half on a half to do you know you don't want to do more than one um, so um, we'll, we'll, we'll hope I stay under 16th and if I'm under 16th uh, come nationals and I'll, I'll be on a plane plane ticket to uh, Texas so that's the plan. Tanner Elam ran a 114.33 to finish second overall in the women's 500 meter I'm excited to see what the future has for her, but that, that was a great start. Uh, you know, a second meet of the season, but running there, she's on her way to the, the big things that we think God has for her. Delaney McDowell finished fifth overall in the 1,000 meters, setting a personal record with a time of 249.95. It was also fast enough to break the school record in the 1,000 meters. This is probably the first race I felt really good on this track, and so personally, um, yeah, it just feels good. It feels like my hard work has paid off um, for Liberty. I'm just happy to just represent Liberty Track and Field and just what it stands for and um, hopefully just bring it to the next level. Liberty Track and Field will be back in action next Friday and Saturday as they host the Darius Dixon Invitational. For the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Brian Weitzel.